So where we just left off, I had two guys approach me, and they did exactly what they were supposed to do, was they asked me, what are you doing here, why are you here, um, what's going on, and I just explained to them that um, I love Benghazi, and that I'm Libyan, and that uh, I saw something yesterday, and I showed them the video of what I took, and they were amazed, because they had no idea that this was here. So I came back here today with some water, actually, and I took some dirt right here from down there. And we're going to see if we can at least slightly, in my own capacity, remedy this, this situation. You know, there's not a lot of things that I can do here in Libya. But certainly there are some things that at least I can make an attempt to rectify in some way. Now, whoever this is, did not expect Gaddafi to come here and just bury or dig them up and cause them chaos. But, I mean, I would never ever simply be able to ignore a problem like this. Document it, yeah. Observe it, sure. But definitely never walk away from it. And it's hot, <laughs> and the sun's beating right down on top of me, and I'm not drinking any water because it's Ramadan, so, I mean, I could just as easily be sitting in my air-conditioned apartment of my grandmother, watching satellite and Facebooking. Right, but uh, it's really hard to ignore when you see something that's within your, your capacity to fix. Not fix permanently, because I mean, I'm not an idiot, I'm sure dogs will eventually come and bury you know, and dig this up again. But, um, I don't really have huge uh, amounts of machinery with me to, to build it, nor am I probably any capacity to rebury it um, in a more professional way. So is what we're doing. I uh, know there's also bones sticking out here, so this was in fact, this was in fact a grave right here, so pretty much just, just putting stuff back where it should have been a while ago. And I'm running out of dirt, so we're gonna grab some more dirt.